Shh. What's that? <sighs> Probably just training exercises. When I first heard the title of this game early this year, I wasn't sure if Brotherhood was considered Assassin's Creed 3 or if it would be Assassin's Creed 2.5. I think for a game to be considered a full sequel, it would have to have a lot of different and new features to be its predecessor, and well, Assassin's Creed Brother Brotherhood has a shitload more added to it. But are these new additions good or bad? Well, stay tuned to find out. The story continues in the Vatican, from where you left off just after the fight with the Pope in the Assassin's Creed 2. Although they have a good 60 second opening clip that tells you about the first two Assassin's Creeds, you really won't understand the story and won't be familiar with the cast if you haven't played the previous ones. And that's because the story in 1, 2 and the Brotherhood all link up into one big story. You continue playing as the heartthrob Ezio Adatore as he thinks it's all over and returns to the villa. But this peace and quiet is short lived as the villa is attacked and the apple of Eden stolen. Ezio and his family then flee to Rome to rebuild what they lost. There are many characters from the previous game, but I won't, won't ruin it for you, but there are some really good ones in there. The story is pretty exciting, and I never got bored or felt like skipping a cutscene, and I have to say that it has the best ending out of all three games, and it will leave you shocked and wanting more. The gameplay for the most part basically works the same as number 2, but they've added a lot more perks and things to do, so there are many pros to this game but I think I'll start with the cons. Just like in every Assassin's Creed, this game has very annoying flaws. First is the camera angle when you're fighting. There is the occasional time when you're fighting in a small area, and that the camera will be blocked, like by a tree or the corner of a building, which is very intrusive. The climbing can also be very frustrating, like the moments when you're trying to jump for a ledge and you press the right direction but it still doesn't work so you have to climb all the way back up. And the most annoying problem is that that still remains is when you fail the missions you have to wait a good 30 seconds for the loading screen to finish. Now it's time for some of the old problems that they have now fixed starting with how long it could take to get to each location. Instead of having to run everywhere, you can now ride your horse through the city. Another problem that, that they used to have was not being able to hold a sword and throw a knife at the same time. This has now changed. They have made it so that you can now hold the attack button down and use your gun and knives as well as a sword or knife. They have also made it so you can now carry heavy weapons such as large axes and two-handed swords. Also now you can carry a crossbow and poison darts. Along with making money by doing missions, you can also now renovate shutdown shops and turn them into smiths, doctors or tailors and others. Along, along with those you can also purchase famous landmarks. But my ultimate favourite new feature is training assassins. Throughout the game there are civilians in trouble and when you save them they become indebted to you. Once you have saved them, you can call them to assassinate either the target you are after or just guards. You can call anywhere from 1 to 6 assassins at once, or you can get them to use their arrows to kill all the guards in the area. This isn't an overpowered skill however, as it takes a certain amount of time before you can use it again which is good. You can also use your assassins to make money for you. You can assign certain assassins, assassins to certain side missions which takes them out of activity anywhere from 4 to 20 minutes. The more you use your assassin, the higher their level they get, meaning they get new skills and become stronger. Moving on to the missions now. In each mission you get a side task. So for example, it could be kill your target without being spotted, or kill the target with a hidden weapon, or there are even some that are like, don't touch the ground before you kill your target. I think it's a huge plus to have this. It means that you kill your enemies with skill and patience. You can also leave the Animus at any time to explore your new hiding location as Desmond. There are heaps of new things to do like destroying the Roman army's new equipment and regaining land taken by the Romans. There are so many new things to cover but I think you'll just have to go out and buy the game. The last thing on the review is the multiplayer. Now, a lot of people didn't think that the multiplayer would work, but I think it's a great addition to this game and it should be redone in the, in, in the next Assassin's Creed game. There are four game modes at the moment. They are called Wanted, Manhunt, Alliance and Advanced Wanted. 
In Wanted, it's a free-for-all game mode, and the objective is to assassinate certain players that you are told to. But there is a catch. While you're looking for your target, there are people looking for you as well. The more stealthy you are when killing, the more points you get. And if you escape your killer, you also get points. There are great ways to kill and escape your opponent, opponents, such as haystacks and wells, or you can use skills that you get by leveling up. For example, there's a skill that makes you appear to be a different looking person. In Manhunt, there are two teams of three to four people, and the objective is to either escape the other team, or to catch the other team. It was a little confusing to begin with, but it's such a thrill to perform such a stealth kill, or to escape up to four players that are trying to kill you. The story is a must for any Assassin's Creed fan, but will be confusing to people who haven't played the sequels. The gameplay has been improved so much, but still has some of its old issues. Being able to play in Rome is a great treat, especially because of the Colosseum. The multiplayer is fun and new and really works well. I love the Assassin's Creed games, and because of that I'm going to rate this game an 8.99999 out of 10. Great game. Don't forget to check out allagegaming.com for your Xbox 360, PS3 and Wii news, reviews and more.